Okay. Uh, how's the knee? Uh, yeah. I'm walking. I'm standing. <laughs> it's actually doing great. I, you know, I, I think uh, uh, physical therapists say, you know, kind of above, ahead of schedule, you know. But, uh, you know, it's tricky. You know, when you're 61, the swelling comes and, and you just got to elevate it and just keep it up in the air. So you can't keep it up in the air at practice. Yeah. So what led to the knee surgery? I was bone on bone. I, I had a torn meniscus. And then they say, well, you know, you, you're probably going to need a total knee replacement here in a couple of years. And I, I put it off for another year. And you can see last last year during the season, and it was just hard sprint from the field house over to field three, you know. And so it was like, this this got to be. And so Jed said, hey, you know, when you when you think you, um, can you wait till after spring? I'm like, no. <laughs> so how did you tear your meniscus? Playing softball. Playing softball? Was yeah. it just... Like a men's league or who's playing? Uh, it was back in LA. You know, okay. I was in an intramural league, okay. co ed league. Okay. And uh, how has it been like for you to sit back and not really have a, as hands on as you want? Well, that's as tough as the, probably the first first four weeks of just therapy. And it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. You know, is uh, you know, sit on that table and let people crank your leg. But uh, sitting from the side and, and watching the guys, uh, your, your unit, what's it been like for you? Well, I feel really good because they're in great hands. You know, we got Coach Nansen who steps in my place and Teddy and Coach Kafusi and, and so we don't miss a beat when it comes to, you know, me not being here. But uh, it's tough, you know, you want to be out there, you want to be with your guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's only one Ricky and if I don't take care of myself, nobody else will. What do you make of, of your group so far? A lot of different bodies up here so far. You know, I've been really impressed with the size. You know, we've got some big bodies inside with, uh, you know, two 315 pound guys that can plug up in the middle and another 300 pound guy that can be right there in the middle. Um, and we got some speed on the edges. Uh, I'm excited to see, uh, you know, how this spring game turns out. And then going back into the fall, starting the camp. Um, team's going to be pretty good. I'm excited for them. And the two guys that we're going to talk to, Tyler Manoa and Bill Norton, uh, yes. what, what do you like about those two guys? They well, you know, they're great learners. You know, they, they're great team players. They got that size that we're looking for. Um, you know, they're, they're hard worker. They're fundamentally sound guys that, that just work at getting better every day. You know, and they're a joy to coach and a joy to be around. With Bill, uh, you came from the SEC. You used to coach in the SEC. What is that experience like? What is, what is he doing there? Well, I, I think, you know, you'll see back in the SEC, those guys will be a lot bigger, you know, size-wise. And Bill brings that size, you know. He's a Tennessee boy, and, you know, he's, he's one of the bigger ones that's come out of Tennessee, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, it, it all works when the kids want to get better, they want to learn, and they work at it. You know, you know they'll show up 7 in the morning and say, Coach, man, I, you know, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? You know, they love to watch film, but they like each other. You know, that's key. I and mean, guys hang around each other a lot. You know, that's that's the type of bonding that you need to be have a good football team. What was it like to survive the transfer portal? Oh, you know, it was kind of tricky, but uh, you know, uh, I think everything happens for a reason. You know, the guys that left here, you know, they they felt like it'd be a best fit for them, and uh, you know, we made some moves that uh, were best fit for us. So. Um, I'm not a fan of the transfer portal, but uh, it's a necessary evil, and I think that uh, uh, you can build a team, um, you know, and fill in some spots that you really need. Um, but I think that, you know, you can get guys from everywhere, but if they don't buy in, it doesn't work. You know, we, we're fortunate. We got two very good guys inside that have bought in 100%. You know, love Tyler, love Bill, and Tia, the, the, you know, uh, and uh, Pontu. Just great guys, great people. When you say you're not a, the biggest fan of the portal, what, what do you mean by that? Uh, you know, I just think kids should get their degrees first. You know, it, it, when you stay at a place for four years, you just have a little different sense of camaraderie. Um, you know, you go through a lot together after four years. You know, you come in for one year, it's a little different. You know. And for the guys uh, who got playing time last year, like the you know, both deuces. Uh, Kikaika, Tai Tai, how important was it for them to get that experience? Oh, it's, it's, it's vital because, you, you know, you're building a foundation for the future. And, and, I mean, you would hate to have to 
always start a year out where you got your backups and never touch the field. All right, that's our time. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Glad to hear you're doing well. All right, good luck. Appreciate you, bro.